Today I'm going to show you how to turn a needle felted pumpkin into a jack-o-lantern. For this project you'll need a felting mat, a fine needle, I'm using a number 40 triangle, a firmly felted pumpkin, and some yellow wool. Start by tearing off a small piece of your yellow wool. Roll the wool into a loose ball. Place that yellow wool wherever you would like the first eye for your jack-o-lantern. Give a few pokes with your needle to tack it into place. And then continue felting by making three points, three corners for the eye to make it into a triangle. So I'm using the tip of my needle to poke down three corners of the triangle. And then I'm using the needle to gently pull in the wool along the edges to refine that shape. Once the corners and edges of the triangle are tacked into place, continue felting to reach the desired shape. And you can see that I'm felting with very light pressure but even so, the eye is starting to sink into the surface of the pumpkin a bit, which sometimes in needle felting we may not want when we're adding a face to a finished form. But in the case of a jack-o'-lantern, it actually works because it makes it look more like the eye is cut out and sunken in. So now I'm going to repeat that process for the second eye. I'm going to make a third triangle for the nose. Next, I'm going to do the mouth, and for that piece, I'm going to take a piece that's a little bit larger. I'm going to fold in the ends a little, just slightly, to get it more the length that I want. I'm going to roll it between my fingers. kind of make it look like a little wool banana. And I'm going to pinch the ends as I roll so that they become tapered and kind of pointed. That will make it a little bit easier to make the corners of the mouth. 
So first, this is obviously going to look much too large, but we want to have enough wool so that we can manipulate the smile into these kind of squiggles to make the appearance of the teeth. So we want it to be a little bit larger than it needs to be in the end. I'm going to start by tacking down the first side of the smile wherever I would like that to be. So I'm going under this eye and maybe maybe out a little bit farther than that extends. Then I'm going to tack down the other end wherever I would like the other end of the smile to be. So just a few quick pokes with the needle. And then I'm going to make the smile rise up in the middle. So it's almost like I'm folding it up in half and then tilting down on both sides of that. So I'm going to take that middle, push it up towards the nose, not all the way, leaving some space, but I'm going to tack that down there. So actually it's at about the same height on the face as the two corners of the mouth. I'm going to tack that down. I'm going to push from underneath and tack it from that direction as well. And then I'm going to pull down these two little loops here. I'm going to tack them down just to start that squiggly shape. And now I'm just going to kind of push and pull in the edges to define that smile and define the three little teeth that I'm making on the jack-o'-lantern. So one is going to be here, so the teeth are going to be made out of the, the negative space around this yellow line on the orange of the pumpkin. So one tooth is going to be here, so I'm pushing it up to make those two top edges of the tooth. One tooth is going to be right here, so I'm pushing down there and there to make the two bottom corners of that tooth. The third tooth is going to be over here. So I'll push down to make those two corners. And then I'm going to have to keep going over those areas as I define the rest of the edges of this smile. But I'm just going to keep slowly making my way around, poking into the yellow wool wherever it needs to be shaped and pressed in. I'm using pretty light pressure here since I'm just sort of tacking things into place. And once the smile is more defined, I will start to increase the pressure of the needle to really get it, um, to get the surface texture smoothed out. You can see now that the overall shape of my jack-o'-lantern smile is pretty well defined. I'm just kind of doing some finishing touches, pushing in any little edges, corners that need to be pushed in to define it more, and then felting over the whole surface of that yellow smile to make it more smooth and finished. And as I'm doing that, you'll notice that it's becoming increasingly pushed into the face. So remember, if that happens too much for your liking anywhere, you can see how much it's pressing in if I turn it to the side. You can always press in the face more. Press in the rest of the pumpkin to kind of even things out. You can also just kind of use your hands to sort of smush things back into the shape that you want. So 
So there's how we can go from pumpkin to jack-o'-lantern. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This makes a great add-on project if you have purchased one of our needle felted pumpkins kits or if you've just uh, been making your own needle felted pumpkins. So thank you so much for watching.